Chad Peters, co-founder and owner of Millspin Manufacturing here in Columbus, Ohio. This is our first shop walkthrough. I'm gonna show you how our parts get made from start to finish. This is where customer service gets handled, answering emails, answering phone calls, placing orders over the phone. We've got a little bit of a display wall right up here in the front. These are different products that maybe we made the wrong one. Uh, maybe it, it didn't quite pass quality, but we thought that they were good enough to end up on the wall. So we make a number of products. Uh, mostly we're in the customization game. We do several Harley Davidson accessories. We do firearm accessories specifically for blocks. Um, as a result, we've kind of developed a pretty large fan following, so then it was just a matter of what else could we manufacture and produce. Right here we're packaging t-shirts. This is a, a top mill spin seller. Get off my lawn, Gadsden flag. Um, we saw the movie Gran Torino and decided we had to make a shirt that said get off my lawn after Clint Eastwood said. We're moving to the back shop. It's about to get very loud, so I'm going to start screaming at you guys. Parts start back here on our beautiful Herco machines. Raw material comes in, the Herco cuts it into shape. We're modern day sculptors is how I like to think of it. We are the sculptors of our time, it's computerized sculpting. So raw material comes on and mill spin products come off. Three Herco BM10Is. They're all three of our identical machines. I have them set up so the tools on this machine will work on this machine and that machine. I don't have to change the offsets at all. Um, we try and keep our machines running eight hours a day non-stop. We did not want to start running two. We did not want to start running more than one shift right off the bat. The solution was to start running multiple machines, and that's why we run three. I'm able to run three Hercos with one machinist. It's a completely effective model. I recommend it. With one guy, multiple Hercos. The separate part of our shop where we cut plasma, we cut sheet metal. We use these to cut custom grill grates. So you can you can insert your grill dimensions on our website and then we'll customize a grill you can give us an emblem if you wanted to do something like a sports team or your business logo we've had food trucks contact us to get their logos put on their food they're actually cooking their you know they're, they're cooking on their logo makes it great for uh, photo ops So obviously after some more parts get cut, they also get painted or coated, depending on what the material is. We do powder coating for the Harley Davidson parts. We do Cerakote for our gun parts. And then we currently, we do some uh, latex paint for our wall art. And we're moving, actually just got this industrial oven here so we can start powder coating man-sized signs. That's a pretty impressive machine itself. See, we're just a mom and pop shop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. We didn't have the funds to create this, uh, to create a spring booth. But we came. We looked, and uh, it's kind of annoying that we have to sit here and paint on it on an incline. But if you paint this side one day, and then you paint this side the other day, it all balances out, and you're standing even the whole time. These were the first machines that we started with. We use these mills to do customization. All these Tormox are doing is engraving. So very, very small tools. You can see that this is a, this is a Norse emblem. That's a, a Viking symbol. Um, that's somebody's getting customized. It looks very large here. 
but really what we're doing is customizing something as small as this little back plate here. We cut all of our fixturing. So as you can see, we're holding up one of our, we're, we got fixtured a, a stainless steel coaster, mill spin coaster. All of our fixturing is cut on a Herco. I guess I'll just give you a brief on the history of our company. So we started as an industrial supply guys. We were buying and selling um, things like wire sleeves and heat shrink tubing. And we were sourcing a lot of parts from local machine shops. And when we decided that when we realized that a, a small material cost, if you have the right machinery, can be sold for 5, 10, 15, 20 times the material cost in the retail sale price, we made the decision that we were going to, that we were going to buy the machines and, and cut out the middlemen that we were paying. So that was one machine we bought, I want to say, four years ago. Right now we run three Hercos and four Tormos.